Bonaparte Falls Apart by Marjorie Kyler. Illustrations by Will Terry. Bonaparte was falling to pieces, and this really shook him up, especially when he rode his bike, or played catch, or visited the doctor's office. Sometimes his bones rolled away, and it took him forever to find them. What will happen when school starts? Bonaparte asked his friends as his hands clacked to the sidewalk. I'm falling apart. Everyone will make fun of me. I have an idea, said Frankie Stein, clicking Bonaparte's hand into place. Let's glue and screw your bones together. So Frankie Stein glued and screwed and screwed and glued. But when he was finished, Bonaparte couldn't move. I can't walk, he said. Frankie Stein had to undo all his hard work. I have another idea, said Blackie Widow. I'll spin and pin a web around you. So Blackie Widow spinned and pinned and pinned and spinned. But when she was finished, Bonaparte was all tangled up. I'm a mess, he said. Blackie Widow had to undo all her hard work. I have the best idea of all, said Mamicula. I'll wrap and strap your bones in place. So Mamicula wrapped and strapped and strapped and wrapped. But when he was finished, Bonaparte couldn't see. He asked in a muffled voice. Mamicula had to undo all his hard work. Time passed and Bonaparte was so worried about school that his head fell off. Frankie Stein picked it up and set it back in place. Before school starts, we will bone up on other ideas, he said. We will leave no bone unturned, said Blackie Widow. No bones about it, said Mamicula. But none of the ideas they came up with seems just right. Until a dog ran by with a bone in his mouth. That bone lover would be perfect for Bonaparte, said Mamicula. So they ran after the dog and brought him to Bonaparte. What a fetching dog, Bonaparte exclaimed. You can teach him to retrieve your bones, said Frankie Stein. Bonanza, said Bonaparte. You are my bona fide friends. He named the dog Mandible and he spent the next two weeks training him. When school started, Bonaparte was still a little worried about what the other kids might think. But Bonaparte was a home running hit at recess, a jaw dropping sensation at lunch, and a rib tickling wonder in science class. Bonaparte could hang loose without anyone making fun of him, and this made him very happy. Clickety clack.